Tonight, the Haunted Finders team have been granted exclusive access to this part of Nottingham Caves. Probably one of the oldest areas of Nottingham Caves that would have been a through route right the way to Nottingham Castle and also possibly an escape route for those at the castle trying to get away quick. We don't know what's down here, but we've been told and we've learned that some of the staff members find this area very eerie as though somebody's watching them. Right, we are investigating an exclusive area of Nottingham Caves never before investigated underneath deck chair barbers in Nottingham. Once a former inn, it is said to be extremely haunted in the caves below the actual shop itself. Tonight we have got full access to the cave systems to carry out a full investigation. What will happen tonight when we turn the lights out and investigate in the complete pitch black? Right, so we're in the main section of the caves now. We're gonna move a bit further to the other side where at the start of the week I put a behind the scenes video and I showed you guys where they actually just gave up making the cave any further and you can still see all the chisel marks in the walls. Um, at the moment, there's a really weird feeling like um, something's watching you. Have you got that feeling? Yeah, I've got it all the time. Um, um, we just heard something. Yeah. Come down this, there's a ladder behind us going up into a hole in the ground and um, something's just hit the ladder with a bit of force. Yeah, when, when I was setting up the equipment to this is where it came yeah. from. When uh, we actually had a stone thrown at us. Well, I, I had a stone thrown at me. Yeah. I was down here on my own doing some shots of the caves and stuff and the stone came from down here. But I was over there when I felt like someone was yeah. watching me. So right now I'm standing at the end of the cave system where you can see where whoever dug these out um, it just basically gave up and just stopped going any further. You can still see all here the old chisel marks where they were digging it out because obviously Nottingham caves are all man-made. There's probably over 300 different cave systems throughout the entire city centre underneath the ground that all led to Nottingham Castle. Um, so this area is really eerie. When we was actually setting up some equipment earlier and I was down here on my own just doing some shots for the episode um, I had something thrown down here and then I felt as though someone was stood directly behind me looking over my shoulder when I was checking the settings on the camera um, and it's just really eerie um, I think we'll probably get something down here tonight on the investigation so let's see what we get Even during the day these caves have a very eerie feeling to them but what happened when we turned the lights out and carried out our nighttime investigations? What do you think to the location then, John? Yeah, it's really good. I've never investigated any caves or anything before, so it should be good. Do you think we'll get anything? I'm hoping we do, yeah, yeah. Have you felt anything down here while you've been down here? Uh, just feels really heavy and uh, just weird. Yeah, let's see what we get anyway. Yeah, it should be good. So what do you think to the location, David? I think it's really good. I mean, we're privileged really to have somewhere like this to investigate caves. We don't get a lot of caves to investigate, but this is really good. Um, we've had a few bits and bobs happening. I had one little spike on the EMF meter as John walked past me. It wasn't his phone because he's switched off. And just bits and bobs happening and I can feel it building up and I'm just you know, ready to get going. So we've uh, finished all of the daytime filming and we're going to start setting some of the equipment up now, get ready for the night time. Um, while I was just doing a bit of filming, something sounded like it was either through or tapped on that ladder over there behind me. So it uh, seems like it's building up for something. So we'll see what sort of activity we get. So yeah, let's do what we get. Let's go, let's do this. Right, so we're in the end of the cave system where we earlier filmed. Uh, we can still see all like the chisel marks and stuff and we had stones thrown down here and some weird noises and you've actually had some like um, 
just again on that, little spikes. Yeah, spikes on the millimeter. What the hell was that? That's that ladder again. Someone just hit the ladder. Is that you? Be quiet. Too late to do it again. If that's you, can you make that noise again, please? Can you make that noise again down here, if that was you, please? Are you with us? If there's anybody here with us now, if you're making noises around us, come towards this red light in my hand and come and tell us who you are. Do you like us being in this area? still there. Bit of like a bang before it came from up there. No, like, um, sand moving. That's what I heard earlier over there. Let's just play this back. Was that a ladder again? Who are you, please? The person around this ladder. Come and talk into this device in my hand. Tell me who you are. Were you one of the people that built these caves? Tell me your name. I keep seeing stuff down there. Nothing wants over on EVP. Down on the stairs. Somebody's what? Somebody's head came out and went back in. Swear. Where? Wait, let me get up there then with the camera. Up here? Yeah, just here. Hello? Just be quiet, man. Be quiet, be quiet. Yeah. Hello? Are you in this area? That's the shop. That's the shop door. If that was you, can you bang on that door again, please? Bang on the door again if you're up there. That was definitely right. The door that leads to the Do you know the door that that leads to the caves? Yeah. 
It sounded like someone knocked it about five times, like doof, 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 yeah. didn't it, David? Yeah, yeah. And that was at the top of the stairs because. I thought it was somebody walking on the wooden floor in the shop. Come down here to us. Don't be afraid. If you're up there now, if you're listening to us, if you're the one that was on the stairs, please make a noise now to let us know that you're here. Come on, do something. Throw something. It's like they're uh, taking us from. What was that? A breath. I heard that. What was it? It's a breath. A breath? Yeah, definitely one John. Down here? Sounds like one ladder noise. Are you here in this area? Be really quiet. Are you in this area now? Make a noise, please. Walk towards us, use your voice. Did you hear that footstep? Move the ladder. A lot of strange feeling down here now. Yeah. What do you feel like, John? My ears are fucked up. I feel alright, but that early run when I was upstairs in the shop, I felt weird. Did you? Yeah. I'm telling you, that was someone knocking on the door to coming down to the uh, thing here, coming down to the caves. Tell me what I've seen that head. I feel the pain in my chest. <coughs> Palpitations. Well, come on then, now's your time. Stop hiding and come in and show us what the hell. Somebody's just touched my arm. Something's literally just touched my arm. I felt two fingers on my arm. Stop hiding and come out. Do something. Show yourself on the camera. Come on, run towards us. Something, stop, 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 stop moving. Something was thrown as you were walking again, David. Just hold still a minute. Come and walk towards us now, please. tapped the back of my body you want me in there. What then? I was standing still and I felt like a little just heard like a little Yeah. Freezing here. On the back of my What the hell? It's freezing. It's still 18.4 degrees on here. Yeah I'm freezing. I'm come on, come towards us now. My back my arm's starting to get cold as well. Come on, come towards us. We're not scared of you. Come towards us now, please. Come and talk into this device. Come and tell us your name. I'm just going to go over the EVP I've just recorded.
Wow. 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 Nick. Nick. Stay still there. Oh shit. How is your name? Nick. Nick. That was Nick. Nick. You said on that as well, that definitely wasn't water, so that was at the time we heard that noise as well. Yeah. So obviously once I went through and it was a voice. Okay, so if it's clearly Nick. says Nick. Right. Nick. You can hear we are still for a name and we've got Nick. Nick, or any other spirits, if it was you that was seen on these stairs, come towards this red light, this device in my hand, come and tell us who you are and why you're here, please. Do you like us being here? Why are you around this staircase? Is it me or is it like Did you just hear whispering? That noise? What? Did you just hear that noise coming from out of there? Like a whisper? I heard like a tap. I could hear like, uh, you know, like wind blowing. Yeah. Like, but there's no wind down here, is there? <laughs> Sorry to touch me. What? No, someone grabbed for me. Someone pulled my t-shirt back. Same time as me. I what? Thought, I thought something behind me as well. What? Honestly, I thought something. No, honestly, David. David, honestly. Seriously, mate. I... Wait, film, film a minute. I'm filming. Something has literally just Point pulled, back. pulled my t-shirt backwards. Simultaneously with me as well. I thought I felt something, but not strong enough. Before Tom felt it. So, uh, honestly, at the same time, it felt Tom. like two hands. Grabbed the bottom of my t-shirt, mine was like pulled it backwards. Mine was going like up my back like that, like fingers going up my back. I just felt the bottom oh my of my God. body all went twitching. <laughs> yeah, so it pulled. So it, honestly, it felt like two hands grabbed the bottom of my t-shirt. Was that you, it Nick? It must have been coming from out there. You made us jump a bit there, mate. But if that was you, <clears throat> thank you anyway for that. If that was you, can you just walk towards us now and let us hear your footsteps, please? The camera's just turned off by itself. And we've got this constant spike on the mail meter in front of me. If that was you that just turned the camera off, can you turn it off again? Oh, look at the chills. Let's see, it's gone back down to 18 degrees. Why do you want the camera off so bad? Turn it off again then. I'm 
got this constant reading here. Is that you? Make it go up again. Now zero look in the same spot. Point one, point three. Come on, turn the camera off. Say something to the camera. Come on, come closer. Come closer. That's it. Closer. No, come on. If that's you, take the temperature back up to 20 degrees. You did it before. Come on. 20 degrees. Come on. Thank you. Make it go back down again. All the way down. Go on. Back down to 18. Go on, keep going. <laughs> Back to 20 again. Come on, move away then. So it gets colder. Temperature's come down to 18.6. Now I'm done down here. What? What, filming? Why, what you got? When I came in here, well, I'm going to have to... How are to, you? Is it recording? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to check the footage from earlier because... This area here was completely clear. Yeah. There's now a mop going right the way across the flipping floor lot. Film it. That mop there was not there. Listen to me. When me and David were sat here, when you were doing... It wasn't the, there. Yeah, when you I, were doing the loan vigil, and then the camera shut off by itself, Yeah. it must have happened then, because that wasn't there when we were sat here before. Listen, I want to tell you something. Right. What? Can you remember when I went to that bowl, and yeah. I picked that cleaner up? Yeah, yeah, I can remember because I put these ladders up here and that one there then. You didn't knock that down, did you? No, I was nowhere near there. 
I just stood the ladders up there and then just came back out. I haven't even been in this area. Honestly, that mop is... But it wasn't there when we when you were doing the lane vigil just before your camera shut off. Yeah. It wasn't there. It wasn't there because and me, I walked over. When your camera shut off, me and David came down straight away together. Yeah. And then when you got the camera back up and running again, we came up, sat here, and then I've just noticed it now. Yeah. Like, where the hell was that come from? It wasn't there because I was staring down to the floor. I honestly need to check some footage in a bit to see if it's there because that, was, that wasn't, wasn't there. there. It wasn't there. there. That one right, it's like it's been placed across the walkway. Yeah. Right, so we just had a short break, um, and we've been getting like quite a lot of crazy activity and EMF spikes, temperature fluctuations on these staircase here. So basically, there's a brick wall behind here, in there, where basically the entrance to the caves that would have ran to that would have ran to Nottingham Castle would have gone through there and then this would have been the exit to the, from the caves. We're getting like crazy EMF on these stairs at the moment. Um, we don't know whether it's like the spirits seeing it as it was back in the day and just running through this area. Um, we don't know if this was like an escape route because it would have led into the centre of Shield Forest. Um, so yeah, it's pretty creepy. So what we're going to actually do now is a SB7 spirit box session on the stairs and see if we can get anyone come through and talk to us. So yeah, let's do it. Right, so uh, we've brought out the SB11 spirit box. Uh, we seem to be getting quite a lot of voices trying to come through on the SB7 on AM sweep, so we brought this out because we've got an advanced AM sweep, so see if we get any voices through on this. Let's try it out. Is anybody here? Can you come and try and say hello to us, please? here can you come towards this device and I want you to just tell me why you're in these caves please come to this device and tell us now why you're in these caves Escape. So, uh, caves or escape. 